Hello friends. Welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. So in the previous lecture, we have seen what are stages and jobs in the CICD. Now in this tutorial, we are going to learn about GitLab CICD for a Maven project. So let's see what the requirements for this project are. First we need our GitLab account. And then we also need a Java project, which will be used to build using Maven. And we also need to have an understanding of Maven lifecycle, which I will also show in the upcoming slides. So when we build the pipeline we need to give which stage you want to deploy. Then we will write the GitLab CI pipeline file, which is be like .glab-ci.yml file. So what we will do in this GitLab CI CD Maven project, we'll be also using Docker. So we don't set up Maven to install on some runner and do that. So what we will do is we will use the Docker specific runner and we will create a Maven build in Docker containers. So to give some information about Maven lifecycle. So these are some lifecycle stages in Maven like validate, initiate, compile and all this. So there are different stages in Maven lifecycle so you can define which stages you want in your pipeline. So then what we will do is using a Maven image. So we are going to use Docker image and we will create four stages. One will be for build, one will be for test, and one will for package, and one will be for deploy. So this will be four stages we will be creating in our pipeline, and we will see how we can run those pipelines. So the Maven can build and the whole source will be created. Then we will also see in this tutorial like how to cache. So we'll also see how caching mechanism happen in GitLab. So we will cache.m2 repository which where the Maven files will be stored. And also the target folder where once you build or package your application or install it, you will have a jar or war file which will be saved under the target folder. So this caching will help us to increase your speeding up the whole process of your pipeline. So we will see all those things in the no actual demo. So as you can see, I am on my GitLab project. And you can see I have Java project. So there is a source file, there is a pom.xml. So if you don't know how to set up all this thing, then you have to learn pom.xml, how the Java project works. But you can use this project for your testing. So I will give this link into the description. So you can go and have a look there. So now we don't have .gitlab-c.yml file which we will create. So before that, I just want to show you a basic gitlab-ci.yml file which we are going to use. So we are going to start with image. And we are going to use the Maven image for this tutorial. So because this is a Java project and we are going to build your project using Maven. So rather than using installing Maven on your machine and using that runner, I'm going to use a Docker container. So you're going to use Maven image to create a container. And we are going to have these four stages and each job will be mapped to some stage. So you can have multiple jobs also in the same stage. So here I'm going to use build job, and I'm going to use the stages build. And what this tag refers is like this tag is to inform GitLab C to run this job on a runner which is having a tag docker. So in runners you can tag them with some keywords like docker or maven or shell. So you can define this job has to be running on this runner. And then I'm going to give a message. This is not a mandatory but just for information I put like maven compile started. And the build stage I'm going to run mvm compile. So mvm is the maven command and the compile is the lifecycle stage. So that's what I show you like different lifecycle is there so build I'm going to compile it. Then in the test job. I'm going to use test stage. And again the tag is docker. And the script I'm going to run mvm test. So here I'm going to run the test lifecycle of maven. And the package, I'm going to use package stage. And here I'm going to run mvn package. So when you do a mvn package you will have a jar file. Which will be created and it will be saved under your repository target folder. So in order to deploy, you need to have some kind of method. Like you need to deploy to your artifactory or some location. So in our case we are not going to see that deployment side. So because of that I just created a job as deploy. And I'm just going to print the message along. So this one I want to start as a basic, where you can create different lifecycle as a stages of Maven. Now in order to enhance this one, I have also updated some other parameter as well. So I'm going to set a variable called Maven OPTS, 
and this will be the local repository which will be .m2 repository. So I want to back up this repository. So because of that I have to set this variable. And I'm going to use cache. So cache means I'm going to cache this path into some repository. Since we are running shared runners it will be saved under some Google Cloud or some default GitLab repositories. So we are going to set the path which has to be cached as .m2 repository. And also the target where your jar file will be saved. So the benefit as I mentioned it will speed up the process. So let me just copy this. And I will create a new file here. I'm going to call this as dot gitlab hyphen ci dot yml. And here we are not going to apply any template. We are just going to apply the CI pipeline in a job which is written. So there are different stages and different jobs. So let's just commit that. So let me go and commit. So once you commit, the pipeline should start it. So you can see, the pipeline has started. So you can just click on it, and you can check. If you click on the job, it should be showing the details. But it's running so now it's preparing the Docker environment. Now you can see that this job has completed. It has completed the whole process of Maven. You can also see it has created a cache for M2 repository and it's saved under some Google storage.google API. So that's how it is done for the first stage. Let's see for how it's happening. So you can see the other stages are running now. So now the test job is also completed. So let's click on it. So in the top, here you can see it is downloading the cache. And here you can see, it has run the whole process here. So let's see what it happens for whole pipeline. Now you can see, the package is also passed, so you can check the package job. You can see it has updated that as well. Now you can see the whole pipeline is passed, so you can see whole job. You can see build, task, package, deploy all jobs are completed. So we have four jobs and it's all running on Docker, and it's running on different runners. So if you're looking for a pipeline file for a Maven project using Docker containers, this should be the best. I hope you all guys are understood the concept. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.